the cash dam. The best mortgage strategy if you own a small business or a rental property. All right, so first of all, what is the cash dam and how does it work? So the cash dam is a simple but powerful concept to help you make your mortgage tax deductible if you own either a small business or a rental property. It's an especially attractive op option if you are familiar with the Smith Maneuver or other tax minimization, minimization strategies. The cash dam, which is so, also sometimes called the cash flow dam or cash, flow, cash damming, is a pure tax strategy without investment risk that, that does not require any of your cash flow. So what it is, it's uh, the cash dam allows the owner of a small business or rental property to more quickly convert their mortgage or on their home into a tax deductible mortgage. It's a variation on the Smith maneuver, but without investing. The cash dam is a, essentially an expedient way to change debt, bad debt into good debt. So the cash dam involves using a line of credit to pay your, your business expenses, then use your increased business cash flow to pay down your ordinary non-deductible mortgage or loan. The result is an increasing tax deductible business uh, credit line while paying down your non-deductible mortgage or credit line. The cash down will only work if you own a non-incorporated personal or partnerships-based uh, small business or rental property. So is this legal or how does it look? So. So I can tell you the cash dam is specifically allowed by CRA. They have a very specific section. Uh, it's explained in, it's called Income Tax um, Folio S3-F6-C1 on interest deductibility. But you are allowed to segregate, that's the word they use, your borrowing into separate accounts so that you can trace which borrowing is for a tax deductible purpose and which is not. So the, the critical issue is that you need to be able to trace the amount that you borrowed to a tax deductible purpose and be able to show that the current use, quote unquote, current use of that borrowed money is still for the tax deductible purpose. So to the, understand the concept, uh, if you could not find a tenant for a rental property for a full year, you would just borrow to pay all the expenses and that would be tax deductible, right? So if you keep that that borrowing separate from other borrowing, you can deduct the interest as a rental expense. Now, if you have rent, you can use the gross rent for any purpose that you want, such as paying down your mortgage or, or while continuing to borrow to pay your rental expenses. So, both, for example, people with a rental property, what they generally do is they get, collect the rent, they use it to pay the rental expenses. But instead of that, you can keep all the gross rent for whatever you want to do and just borrow all the money for the, uh, for the expenses. So here's an example. Uh, you own a small non-incorporated business that has uh, 2000 per month uh, in business expenses. Uh, you have a, and let's say you also have a readvanceable mortgage on your home with a credit line that's a HELOC that's linked to your mortgage. So the 2000 per month business expenses could be paid by the home equity line of credit. Then you use the additional 2,000, you don't have to pay it from the cash flow, the additional 2,000 um, that you have in cash flow, you use that to make extra payments on your non-deductible mortgage, your regular mortgage. So the extra payment of 2,000 on the mortgage gives you 2,000 extra credit on the credit line because they're linked to pay the next month's credit, uh, next month's expenses. So the interest paid on money that's borrowed for business expenses is tax deductible. By using the cash dam, you'll be left with a growing tax deductible business credit line and a non-deductible mortgage that's been uh, quickly paid down. So one of the keys to the cash dam, however, is capitalizing the interest on the business line of credit. Use your cash dam credit line to also pay its own interest. That, that way you avoid using any of your own cash flow to do this. So here's, we actually had a really cool real life example. So let's take a, a great example is Tony. He was a client that's a general contractor. And they're a good one because they have a huge, they have a large amount of uh, business expenses as a proportion of the total. So yeah, he's a general contractor without a corporation. He has a million in sales from construction contracts that he gets done with 800,000 of sub trades and a $200,000 profit. So he doesn't do any of it himself. He just uses sub trades. He has an eight hundred thousand uh, dollar mortgage on his home because he did major renovations to his home. So for Tony, the cash down was extremely advantageous. We helped him get a readvanceable mortgage on his home. He used eight hundred thousand of his sales to pay off his mortgage 
uh, entirely in one year while using the credit line linked to the mortgage to pay the 800,000 in subtrades. Okay, so he got it all done in one year. In just one year, his entire $800,000 mortgage became an $800,000 tax deductible business mortgage all in one year. And it's tax deductible from then on. In most cases, this process, process takes years as the owner of a small business or rental property slowly uses his gross sales or rent to pay down his mortgage while borrowing from the linked credit line to pay all the business expenses. The credit line interest is also a business expense that you could borrow to, borrow to pay that part as well. So how does this differ from Smith Maneuver? Well, Cash Dam and Smith Maneuver both convert your mortgage into a tax deductible mortgage over time. However, the Smith Maneuver also allows you to buy investments without using your cash flow. So investing from your credit line is why the Smith Maneuver has a much higher benefit and a higher risk than the Cash Dam. Uh, this investment risk is not high if you stick with the Smith Maneuver long-term and invest effectively and tax efficiently. So how do you implement this whole cash dam thing? So to do the cash dam, you need to get a readvanceable mortgage uh, linked with a credit line so that you can gain credit in the credit line with each mortgage payment. Then you need to set up how you will trace the cash flow. In practice, it can be tricky to accomplish. Many people that do the cash dam also do the Smith maneuver, which has a far higher benefit from the long-term growth of the, of the investments. So now if you're doing uh, both the Smith Maneuver and Cash Dam, it's important to make sure that the Cash Dam does not end up with you having a smaller Smith Maneuver because the smaller amount of investments can more than wipe out all the benefit of the Cash Dam. So the tricky part is this, is, is that you pay down the mortgage to reborrow for two purposes. Uh, one, investment with a Smith Maneuver, and two, paying down your your business or rental expenses. So however, you, you only get one extra credit line from your higher mortgage payments. So all, so, it, so all the extra credit becomes available in only one credit line. So which strategy will get the extra credit and which will not? So, so will the extra credit when your mortgage is paid down show up in your Smith Maneuver credit line or in the cash dam credit line? Now the solution is usually to have a separate unsecured credit line for the cash down expenses for one year. You do the Smith Maneuver completely normally, so it's not smaller than it would otherwise be, but you pay the cash from your business sales or gross rent onto your mortgage. So you build up extra credit in the Smith Maneuver credit line, but don't invest it. At the end of the year, you've maxed out your unsecured credit line from by paying all those expenses bit by bit. At the end of the year, you split off a separate cash dam credit line within your, uh, your uh, re-advanceable mortgage on your home to pay off the unsecured credit line. You can then pay, uh, pay for another year of business or rental expenses from the unsecured credit line. At the end of year two, you ask the bank to increase the limit on your cash dam line of credit to pay off the unsecured credit line. Again, you keep doing the same thing. This process is technical and takes uh, some work, but it's necessary to make sure you separate your Smith Maneuver credit line from your cash dam credit line. Both are tax deductible, but on different lines on your tax return. If CRA audits you on either item, you need to be able to prove each deduction you claim is correct. So even though they're both tax deductible, you still have to track them separately. Um, now, the long-term plan, it's most effective to do the cash dam as part of your long-term financial plan. You eventually convert your entire home mortgage into tax deductible, then what do you do with it? So it's worth thinking it through. The most effective strategy is to keep it forever as a tax deduction and only pay it off whenever you sell your home, it, rather than taking investments and paying it off. However, the cash dam credit line is only tax deductible as long as you have that business or that rental property, okay? Because it's deductible against the business. Keeping the uh, credit line forever means you never have, have to use your personal cash flow for it. Now, if you will eventually retire and close your business or sell your rental property, but plan to retire in your home, then after your, if that's what your plan is, then after your mortgage is fully tax deductible for both strategies, so let's say you're doing cash dam and Smith Maneuver, it's all tax deductible, partly for each. You could do the Smith Maneuver on your cash dam credit line to slowly convert it all to tax deductible with the Smith Maneuver. 
you can keep the Smith Member tax deductible mortgage or credit line right through your, your retirement until you eventually sell your home. You can also pay off your cash down mortgage slowly if you want to eliminate the debt, but this means you have to increase your payments to also pay off the principal of your tax deductible mortgage over time. So if you do that after you retire, it means you're retiring on a little bit less uh, cash flow. Uh, now, overall, bottom line is this cash down, it's the best mortgage strategy for business owners and, um, and landlords if you're not incorporated. The cash dam is a pure tax strategy that gives you tax deductions just for setting up your mortgage and transactions in the right way. There's no investment risk. Your only risk is a CRA audit risk if you don't set up your, your separate credit lines and transaction tracing properly. If you're already doing the Smith Maneuver, you already know most of how to do it. You can convert your mortgage to tax deductible more quickly with both strategies at once, but just make sure that does not mean you end up with a smaller Smith Maneuver.